In this video, we'll solve a few problems uh, with rational expressions. In particular, we'll simplify rational expressions, we'll multiply them and divide them. So let's start with example one. So as you can see, a, a rational expression looks very similar with fractions, right? So um, like with rational numbers. So the process of simplifying is the same. So we can see in example one that we have x plus 1, it's a factor, x minus 1, it's another factor, and x minus 1 again. So this line means division. Now when we divide x minus 1, the whole quantity, by x minus 1, we get 1, right? x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1. So what is left in the problem, it's x plus 1. We can say x plus 1 over 1, but that means um, eventually x plus 1. Now let's take a look at the second problem. The second problem is x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. Well, the denominator is x minus 1, we cannot do anything to it, but the numerator can be factored further using the formula a squared minus b squared, which is a minus b times a plus b. So difference of two squares. So then this becomes x minus 1 times x plus 1, or x plus 1 times x minus 1. So this problem, it's identical with the one with example 1. So x minus 1 cancels with x minus 1, and we are left with x plus 1. Basically, example 2 is, um, or example 1, it's uh, exactly example 2, but with the numerator factored. Let's take a look at example 3. So in example 3, the terms are not in factored form. The numerator and the denominator are not factored. So let's start factoring. Um, let's factor the numerator by factoring out 2x from all the terms. So if we factor out 2x, we end up with x squared plus 6x plus 8. And the denominator, we factor out a 6, and we're left with x plus 4. So let's go further and try to factor the trinomial. So we get 2x times, and we want to factor x squared plus 6x plus 8. So we are looking for two numbers that have the sum 6 and the product 8. So how about 2 and 4? 2 times 4, 8, 2 plus 4, 6. So the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 8 are x plus 2 times x plus 4. And then the denominator is 6 times x plus 4. So the factor x plus 4 cancels with x plus 4, so we are left with 1 at the numerator, 1 at the denominator. Also, 2 and 6 can be both divided by 2, so here 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So what is left at the numerator is x times x plus 2, and at the denominator, 3. And that's the final answer. We simplified uh, the example uh, 3. Now let's take a look at example 4. So x minus 7 divided by x minus 7. So one factor divided by itself, right? So that is 1. So a number divided by itself, x divided by itself, it's 1 x uh, plus 7 over x plus 7, it's 1, um, x squared over x squared, it's 1, right? So when the two factors are identical, we get 1. Here I want to uh, bring this something to your attention. If you have x minus 7 over x minus 7, you cannot cancel this with this, or you cannot cancel 7 with 7, right? You have to cancel or you have to look at the whole quantity. Um, so, for example, if I had x over x minus 7, you cannot cancel x with x. That's not the way it is. And the reason is, this actually is x divided, can be also written, x divided by the quantity x minus 7. So you can see how you cannot divide this one uh, just x by x, right? You have to divide x by the whole quantity. So, let's move on to example 5. 
Now, in example five, we have the factors are very similar with the ones from four, right? So x minus seven. But the denominator is not x minus seven, it's seven minus x, which is actually the opposite of x minus seven. Do you see how if I multiply a negative back in, I get negative x and negative one times negative seven, it's plus seven, which can be written with the positive number first. So because of that, x minus seven, the whole quantity can be divided by x minus seven, and we end up with one over negative one, which is negative one. So when the terms are opposite, right, you are gonna get negative one. So let me uh, show you in one more example. So example six, two minus three x and three x minus two, right, they are opposite, or I can factor out a negative one, and I get three x minus two over 3x minus 2, and we can see how these two cancel, and we are left with 1, and we get negative 1, right? Um, also, if you have x minus 7 and x plus 7, that uh, cannot be simplified further, right? So we leave it like that. So there is a difference. Make sure you understand the difference between x minus 7 and 7 minus x and x plus 7. Now that we talked about uh, simplifying um, rational expressions, let's solve a couple of problems where we multiply rational expressions. So we can see that uh, in the first problem, we have x minus three over x plus four times x plus four um, over three. So uh, I want to remind you if you had, for example, one over two times two over five, right? If you had just numbers, you would simplify this and get one, and then you would multiply across and get one over five, right? So we can do the same thing with um, these expressions. We can put parentheses around the factors just to emphasize that they are quantities, they are not individual. And x plus four can cancel with x plus four because it's a fra we have the, this line which means division. And now when we multiply across, we get x minus 3 times 1, it's x minus 3, and 3 times 1, it's 3. And so we multiplied, and this is what we obtained. And now let's take a look at a division problem. So I want to remind you that if you have a over b divided by c over d, you have to write a over b times uh, d over c. So you change the division into multiplication, and we flip the second uh, fraction and then we multiply across like this. So we are going to have to do the same thing with this problem. So um, we can um, write it again a t cubed plus 27 over 9 minus 4 t squared times and now we fill it the fraction, 2t squared minus t minus 3 over 4t squared minus 6t plus 9. The next thing that we should do is factor completely um, each of these terms. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with 8t cubed plus 27. So this reminds me of the formula a cubed plus b cubed, which is a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So in our case, um, this a t cubed plus 27 can be written 2t everything cubed plus 3 cubed. So writing it like that, it's more obvious that a is 2t and b is 3. So then we are going to have 2t plus 3 times 4t squared minus 6t plus 9. So this is just um, the yellow uh, expression. Now the denominator, 9 minus 4t squared, reminds me of a squared minus b squared, which is a minus b times a plus b. So in our case, we can write this one as 3 squared minus 2t, everything squared, and that way we can see that a is 3 and b is 2t. So the denominator is 3 minus 2t 
times 3 plus 2t times so let's carry on now we are talking about this numerator so let's try to factor it so we are looking for two numbers that have the sign negative 1 and the product negative 6 so the two numbers that satisfy that would be negative 3 and 2 so our uh, expression becomes 2t squared minus 3t plus 2t minus 3 and now that we have four terms we are going to factor by grouping so t times 2t minus 3 plus 1 times 2t minus 3 gives us t plus 1 times 2t minus 3 so the numerator here becomes t plus 1 times 2t minus 3 and now let's work on this denominator 4t squared minus 6t plus 9 so i'm looking for two numbers that have the sum negative 6 and product 4 times 9 4 times 9 negative um, 36 so let's see if we can figure out the numbers um, so by writing um, by writing all the pairs that give us the product 36 adding them up even if I put negative on any of them will not give us negative 6 so that means this denominator 40 squared uh, minus 60 plus 9 it's prime so we we'll leave it like that so now we have all these factors uh, and let's see how we can uh, simplify so um, 2t plus 3 so do I don't have now I have this 40 square minus 60 plus 9 cancels with this one it's a denominator one it's a the denominator I'm left with one Remember our conversation about 2t minus 3 and 3 minus 2t, that would produce a negative 1 factor. And then uh, looking at 2t plus 3, this one from here, let me see, this one, 2t plus 3 and 3 plus 2t, they are exactly the same, right? Ad addition is commutative. So these two cancel and give us one. So now when we multiply all that is left at the numerator, one, one, t plus one, negative one, we get negative t plus one over, and the denominator is one, one, one. So in other words, the final answer is negative t plus one or negative t minus one.